This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Peninsula Regional Medical Center. Well, just in case you did not know, May is National Stroke Awareness Month. And according to the National Stroke Association, over 400,000 women experience a stroke every year. At least one out of five of those women die. But stroke is not just a disease for the elderly. As a matter of fact, strokes are on the rise in young women by up to 40 percent. Family members who have died from a stroke. But not every stroke victim has the classic risk factors. In fact, migraines could be a sign of stroke. They are vascular headaches that cause blood vessels to spasm. The spasms can cause blood flow loss to the brain and create clotting increasing a woman's risk for stroke by three to six times. Yoga lovers, watch your neck. The neck has major arteries that transport blood to the brain. Sudden movements that extend it too far can cause a blood clot. Finally, a new study shows that one soda a day increases the risk of stroke in women by 83%. And another uncommon risk for women is giving birth. During birth, a woman has major hormonal changes and blood pressure typically rises. Studies show that during the postpartum period, a woman's risk of having a stroke is 2.5 times higher than usual. Isn't that something? So hmm. joining us with more on strokes in women is Dr. Suganda Khanna with PRMC's emergency department. Thank you so much for joining us this yeah. afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here. We just had heard a lot of great information uh, about strokes and it, and it seems like the numbers for strokes in women is, is rising. Why do you think that is? I think the reason why the numbers of strokes in women is rising is because the risk factors are rising. And the risk factors for younger women are the same as risk factors for older women. Hypertension, diabetes, obesity, hypercholesterolemia, smoking, mm -hmm. drug use. These are the most common risk factors for stroke. Right. And these are on the rise in younger women, specifically due to the fact that obesity is on the rise and therefore hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, and diabetes, and even high sugar in the blood, not specifically diabetes, but people who drink sugary drinks and all that. Um, that's becoming more and more common. Now on that list was neck trauma. Yes. That's kind of interesting. Yes, yeah, so one of the things that's happening is people are going to the gym and they're going for yoga and doing all sorts of exercises that put, put you in prolonged positions, neck positions that are uncomfortable and can actually kink the major arteries that go up to the brain that are in our neck. They're called the carotid arteries. So when those somehow blood flow is cut off there for a long period of time, then we can have stroke. So, so explain exactly what happens during a stroke. So what happens during a stroke, it's also known as a brain attack, but just like a heart attack, is when blood flow somehow is cut off to the brain, okay? So there's a bunch of different ways that this can happen. We can throw a clot and occlude an artery, mm -hmm. okay? We can have what's called vasospasm or spasming of the artery down, okay? We can have plaque or atherosclerosis obstructing, or we can have bleeding, like if we have an aneurysm that bursts, or if we have hypertension, high, extremely high blood pressure that causes the, the, the artery to bleed. Huh. Now, of course, we have the classic symptoms of stroke that you went over, and then there's some symptoms that maybe, or risk factors, I guess I should say, that women have. Yeah, so um, women are a little different because of the fact that we can bear children and give birth. So pregnancy and the peripartum period in and of itself is a risk factor. Because of the hormonal changes, our blood pressure tends to go up. Mm -hmm. So we can have a stroke around that period specifically up to six weeks after we give birth. Okay, those are a little bit higher. Now also, if you're a postmenopausal woman, your risk factor for stroke goes up because of hormonal changes also. Another reason why women can have a stroke is due to migraines. Anybody who, any woman who tends to suffer from migraines, specifically with an ocular component or they have some sort of visual changes associated with their migraine, have a higher risk of having a stroke because the, the reason why you're having the migraine is the muscle actually cramps down in the, in the artery. Okay, now there's, there's, there are classic symptoms for stroke and there's some additional symptoms for women. Right. So women present a little bit differently. Our bodies work a little bit differently than men's bodies. And we can have some... Talk about classic system, symptoms first. Sure. The classic symptoms for um, stroke are um, weakness or numbness mm -hmm. in, in, in a limb, arm or leg, right. drooping of the face, difficulty talking such as slurred speech or difficulty enunciating your words or expressing yourself, any change in vision, and any change in like balance, gait, difficulty walking, or dizziness right. are the common common um, 
symptoms of stroke. And then the women? W then women can have specific symptoms that are a little bit more vague, but tend to happen more in women, such as nausea, okay? They can get hiccups because the nerve that affects the diaphragm is affected. They can actually, instead of feeling numbness, they feel pain in, the, in a limb or in the chest. They can feel extremely tired because that's a, that's a side effect of your brain shutting off. They also can get um, shortness of breath and palpitations also associated with this. Now, the, the, and, and, and if we get the hiccups, we shouldn't think we're having a stroke. These no, are not usually at all. Usually if you get the hiccups, which is a very common reflex, okay, everybody gets the hiccups every once in a while. Ba newborn babies get it. But if you have the hiccups and you can't move your arm, I mean, if you have other associated mm -hmm. symptoms, then please call 911 and call, go to the hospital. And that's what you should do if you think you're having a stroke, no matter definitely, what, call 911. Definitely, If you think you're having a stroke, tell somebody. If you think you're not being your normal self, tell somebody and call 911. Don't drive yourself to the hospital. All and right. it's preventable too, so yes. wonderful information. Thank you so much for If you us. would like more information on Peninsula Regional Medical Center, including what we just talked about, go to our website, delmarvalife.com, and click on the show tab. Well, still to come, we learn about a group of people that live their life with no shoes. From driving to shopping, we explore this unique lifestyle. And $250 could be yours this afternoon. It's so easy to win. We'll tell you how. And Brian's at it again. Where on Delmarva is he? Brian, we need some clues. Well, Jimmy and Lisa, I have two clues for you. Here is your first clue. Clue number one. The town prides itself on being small in stature but tall in spirit. One more clue to go. Stay with us.